Playlists are very important when you're DJing, so the music that you want to play at the right time is ready to go and you don't have to go searching through it. So to access your playlist, there you could press the music select button at the top left or the top right, and this is what it's going to look like in pro mode. So this left column is all of our music sources, whether it's streaming services, music on your device and your files, or music that they give you. And then up at the top is going to be called My Collections, and then it's going to say Playlist here. If you clicked on this video, you probably want to know how to create a playlist as fast as possible. So I'll show you that first, and then we'll go over all of the organization tools that we have. So to create a new playlist, you're going to press plus. Now we'll be presented with three options. The three options are playlist, which is pretty self-explanatory, smart playlist, and playlist folder. Playlist folder is going to be a playlist inside of a playlist. So for example, what I like to do is have the decades, like the 90s, the 2000s. So this is an example here of a playlist folder. It's going to have this kind of folder symbol. Regular playlists are going to have this symbol. Smart playlists are going to have like the settings gear symbol. So open a playlist folder, and then now we have playlists that are inside of a playlist. So it's just playlist inside of a playlist. So 2000s hip hop, 2000s pop music, you could do 2000s country. That's one way to organize it. I recommend making pre-made playlists for different things. Number one would be the decades with that playlist folder. Number two would be a sound effects one. Um, a lot of the streaming service will have sound effects. So you could do like for surprises and stuff. This is an example of an uh, applause. So if people are opening gifts and stuff. Or, but create playlist based on your style of music. So playlist folder is just playlist inside of playlist. So let's just go with a regular playlist because if you know how to do that, you'll know how to do a playlist folder. So here we go, playlist. So now it's gonna give you the opportunity to name a playlist. So if you got booked for a gig next Wednesday for John's birthday, let's name it that. As soon as you get booked for the gig, start making a playlist for that specific gig. So we got John's party. Now this playlist is gonna be at the bottom, but the cool thing is you could you could long press and then it will go all the way up if you hold it in. So you long press it, you hold it in and bring it to the top. And this is good. You can bring it all the way to the top. You just have to be under music. The music isn't a playlist. It's just all the music that is in all of your playlist. So, so all of it's gonna be there. So that's John's playlist. So it's good to have it at the top because because if you're DJing that party, as soon as you open up your collections, it'll be right there on top. And then you could put like your sound effects below it if you want to go with that. And then maybe scratch samples. So everything you need is there and you don't have to scroll through if you do if you have a lot of playlists here. But if you're watching this video, you probably don't. Now, the first thing you could do is add songs. So this only appears if there's no songs in the playlist. So sound effects has songs, so you don't see it there. So there's a couple of ways to add playlists. One easy way if you already have a playlist, so let's say I did Bob's Wedding and Bob and John are friends and they both like the same music, you could go to the songs here and now we get a couple of options. You could add, add from library, add from files, add to queue, or add all to playlist. So we're going to add that all to John's party. So now all of that, all those songs are in John's playlist. Another thing you could do is go to your music sources. For example, let's use DJ music. Let's say John likes this OYM song, there's going to be three dots next to each song. You press those three dots and now we can add it to a playlist, John's Party. So that's so that's how you're going to add music to your playlist. So anywhere you have songs, even if it's in a different playlist, you could just press the three dots and add it to the playlist. So now it's in the playlist. What you can't do is do the same thing we did, like how we can move John's playlist up and down the list over here on the left. We can't do that on the right. So let's say we wanted Stanky Leg to be at the top. We can't do that. So keep in mind when you play when you add these songs because w if you press over here where it says BPM, you could do it by added. So if you want two songs next to each other for like a wordplay transition, uh, add them in order. I'll get back to what these do. So now we're in John's playlist. So very simple to add songs to the playlist. You could add every song from a previous, you could add every every song from a previous playlist, or you just find the song, three dots, add it to playlist. Now let's get into the organization and the toolbars. So the first one, we are, I already showed you that we can, we can add it all to a playlist. You could add it to the queue, 
or you could add songs from your library. This is another way to add songs. You could add it from your library, or you could switch your sources, find your song, and then just press plus. It's a much faster way to add it than doing the three dot method that I show you. Press done, and now these are all added to the playlist. You could also export as a CSV v file and have a printed and have a printed list of songs of the songs like if you wanted to give a song list to like the bride and groom or something like that really cool way to do that you just press export as a cxv file and then it allows you to do it in various ways you could print it so now it's going to say 43 songs three hours it gives you the time if we take songs away you'll see the time change now this time is very important because let's say we are doing a one hour DJ set. So two hours and 56 minutes would be perfect. But you, if you were doing a four hour DJ set, this would not be enough songs. You always wanna have at least double the amount of songs, maybe even triple or quadruple if you like to do quick mixes and not play the whole song. But if you play most of the song all the way through, then double is a good rule of thumb. But again, it's up to you and you'll be able to tell how long your playlist is over here. This is also good for auto mixes so songs don't double. Next we have these squares. This is gonna give you a really cool album view, just like you were at like a CD store looking at the CD cases. That's one way. If you like it a little bit harder to see, you're gonna to have to do more scrolling because scrolling it takes up more pixels. So I recommend leaving it on list and you'll be able to see the album art next to it. And speaking of what you see, you're gonna see the album art on the left. You're gonna see the title of the song. You're gonna see the artist of the song. You're gonna see the, the source that it came from. So these came from title. These ones came from the DJ music. And the next thing you're gonna see is your BPM and your key. But if you don't see your BPM and your key, uh, if you add songs that you haven't added before, you could press this drop down menu again and you could analyze all your songs. And it may take a while if it's a big, if it's a big playlist that you haven't, and, and a lot of them aren't analyzed, but for the most part, it'll be pretty quick. So do that before you're ready to do your gig. Next is this, this is a new feature. Let's say you're DJing at the beach or a pool party or a dark club and you can't see your playlist. This'll make it easier. This'll make it easier. It'll switch the whole app into a light mode. Another way to access that feature is by pressing the middle button and turning it off right there. Next is search. So this is gonna search through your playlist. So we do party rock and we have that in our playlist so it'll be there but it's not gonna search the whole internet, even if you're signed into a streaming service. So for example, if I do 50 Cent, it's only gonna show a limited amount of 50 Cent songs that I already added into these playlists. But if you wanna search the internet or the whole streaming service for songs, you have to be in the source. So now this source title is highlighted, and if we do the same thing, search 50 Cent, we'll get every single song basically, every song that's on title, which is pretty much every song. So keep that in mind. This really threw me off during gigs. I'm like, I have a request, I have a song I wanna play, but I can't find it. Why isn't it letting me search it? Is something wrong with my internet? But no, I was just searching it in the wrong search bar. So searching in here is gonna search in that specific source. And then next over here, this is gonna open more tools. We have our queue, we have our history, and then we have Match. Match is gonna give you recommendations based on the song that's on the active deck. So this is a great way to find new songs for your playlist. So if they liked o OIM, they're gonna like these songs and then you can add it to your playlist. And again, it's only gonna be the source that you have. Cause now if I do title, if I do title, it'll have the whole internet of searching of songs that we could search from. So back to our collection. And then next is auto mix. You could start an auto mix right there with your playlist. Say you have to go to the restroom or people are eating dinner and not really paying attention. You could start an auto mix and stop an auto mix right there, very easy. The last feature in your playlist is gonna be down here to the bottom left. And this is gonna be history. So let's say you did on the first, let's say on July 13th, we you did a great set and all these songs were good and you wanna add this for Bob's playlist, find it in your history and then add it all, and then add it all to John's party. So that's everything you basically need to know for a DJ Pro's playlist. And if you wanna see my full beginner tutorial for DJ Pro on the iPad, check out this video over here.